now he's going up against one of the biggest wild cards. Adar Alguetti will be receiving the serve. Love all. Pressure, it's a new situation for him. Played in the first day of the US national team trials this year. And, you know, he was 150%. I really hope he can bring that here. He's most loyal and hardworking members of staff, Willie Leperu, which will also include 2015 US national champion Fong Yi Jun and uh, a great player coming across. Canuck Jaw, defending champion to serve. And a great point, Adar Alguerdi looks like he's just getting warmed up. This is the battle of the coasts right here. We've got New Jersey versus California, East right. versus West. And it's going to be scrappy. I feel like this is really going to be, you know, both players are really going to be fighting for every single point for Adar Alguerdi. And Adar has tied it up. Rally, kind of jaw keeps him back, makes him fish, and well, it's like great, great stability from both players. It's a, it's hard to be a consistent lobber and get your positioning right. And Kanak really made sure he got through to the end and got that positioning. Pushed him right back to the corner and <laughs> immediately sent it to the other. Two straight. I mean, Adar's going to be out there, wanting to show people that. It's not just a one-off, you know, I mean, his big uh, recently, or, you know, he's going to take on everyone. Training overseas is fantastic. The real challenge uh, for someone like Kanak is how you come back to an environment. One thing he's shown so far during this tournament with his three to the table. Ten five, rather. I'm telling you right now. So that perhaps his consistency is not as uh, difficult to play against. Acting the shots yet? Yeah, I mean it's always difficult coming up against uh, a different player every round. You've, you've got to make your adjustments to how they're playing and find your tactics. Um, I mean, we saw. We've seen, I've seen matches of a dive being down three zero and coming back and winning four three. So. Uh, it's, it's a matter of when he finds that tipping point where he can uh, kind of settle into his stride. And of course, Canuck's going to be trying not to let him find that spot. Uh, potentially, if they get through and win the final, uh, there's a national title. Adar's never been able to win that, and um, Canuck's defending his title. Well, let's see what the intensity is now. Canuck to serve. We're tied at three apiece. Adar takes that. Uh, to be able to ride the wave and, and push him through to the end. Um, so for him, he'll they really are one of the most passionate families I've ever seen in sports. Really, I love seeing them come together and cheering for their own side. But a dart takes it right back. Great wide placement. From, um, I mean, he's got Stefan Feth on his bench. Uh, who is a very, very decorated player and has a lot of experience. Um, but yeah. His facing tends to move. Like the control of his shots has just gotten so precise that he's able to move a player to one side and throw them off balance so quickly by just quickly changing his shot. Wow. Great performance from both players. Kanak on the offensive. Still very, very well thought out placement. Did a great job of saving that net ball and eventually pushed the ball out a little bit too wide. Connect serve, nine serving six. And the dark caught up in the net. Great placement under pressure. Just wasn't able to close out. 
second game of his best of seven match. Canuck to serve. And Canuck in control, takes the second game, jumps to a 2-0 lead against Adar Algueti. Now Canuck going back to his corner right now. What do you think his coach would be saying to him? Changing the direction of the ball and moving the ball around a lot. Dard down by two games. Not they are, of course, the Kanak being the number one seed in the tournament. Adar not far behind the number three seed. Really needs to perform in high pressure. Canuck with a very well placed ball. But a big serve. And a dark overshoot. Okay, he's, from, he's from Tenafly, New Jersey. And Canuck. Wow. And Canuck, even when you think that he's going down, he steals that last point and still remains undefeated in the games, <laughs> in the later rounds of this tournament. This has been an unbelievably sensational run from Canuck Cha. So another good example of him holding his own under pressure to come in against that drop shot and so focused on making the placement difficult so he had a chance of coming back into the point, settling back in, and then trying to turn the tables. Just dives for that. But look at the placement. Gets him caught up in the corner, takes him out wide, takes the point. Turf. Great rally. Yeah, as I said, with Adar, there's a tipping point, and if he really gets rhythm and confidence, anything can happen. Very aware of where whereabouts his opponent's position is, where Adar is on the table. Adar to serve. One serving four. Happen. Up John takes that point again. It's going to be two serving six. Canuck has been undefeated since what? The round of 32? Uh, I mean, he hasn't. He's won 4 0 in his last three matches. So, cross court. There's not any weight transfer. It's a little soft. And a great shot coming from Adar. Canuck Cha looking to close it out. Seven serving four. He's not even shook by an opponent like Adar. I don't think a yellow card is going to do much to him except get him to finish the match even sooner if he can. Super Micro US National Championships. Great play there by Canuck. Inside out, down the line. Just constantly changing the placement. Moving his opponent left, right, middle. Outstanding play. This is game and match point for Canuck Jaw. But Adar already said, it's not over, buddy. 
All right, we need to move on to the finals. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Adar al Qadi fought a great match. But your winner and defending national champion Young Money Drama, Mr. Kanuk Ja, will move on to the finals taking place at the Silverton Hotel tomorrow right here in Las Vegas.